Harry and Meghan get a bitter ending because of blind jealousy. The plan to ruin Kate and William's U.S. visit was blown up. Hello, friends. Welcome to notable royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Meghan Markle's jealousy and envy of Catherine and William are sickening, according to experts. Unable to withstand the coverage of the Duke and Duchess of Wales, Harry and Meghan plan to ruin the royal couple's visit to the U.S., but received a huge bomb. This woman needs serious help. For the past three years, she bottles up all her clips, interviews, pictures, and events to be released at the same time as William and Catherine's engagements. Harry's jealousy and envy of his brother are equally as sickening. He truly wants to destroy his brother. How sad. A video recording of the intimate moment of the hypocritical couple was released on the first day Kate and William visited the U.S. Meghan and Harry hoped that they could regain their limelight immediately, but in reality, the American people horribly ignored them. Many even scolded the couple for intentionally ruining the hearty American atmosphere when they finally had a chance to interact with real royalty. Without a doubt of a plot to destroy the whale's house, they are so transparent in their behavior. It was only to be expected they had put themselves out there in an attempt to overshadow the whales. The truth is, they won't overshadow the whales for the majority of people. As for their Netflix show, again, only those interested in them will watch it. The best thing reasonably minded people can do in regard to the Sussexes is to ignore them, their show, and Netflix. Her voice is enough to make anyone turn the show off, as is looking eyed at him whilst clinging onto him like a barnacle on a boat bottom. All part of the pre-planned conspiracy to cause the whales as much trouble and embarrassment as possible, whilst in a foreign country away from friends and family. How are they holding up? Like true warriors. I am looking at this in a positive light, in that we are seeing play out in real time, that this couple is a lot more than an attractive, smiling, waving symbol. They are tough, with backbones made of steel, and are the most well-prepared in British history to ascend the throne of the United Kingdom and realms whenever providence and national duty shall call upon them. Long live the Prince and Princess of Wales, our future King and Queen. They should make all Britons very proud. I would imagine Harry and Meghan were behind the release of this clip being shown much earlier than billed. To deliberately try to upstage his brother just shows what horrible people they really are. Also having their friend who was supposed racially abused at the palace come out with Meghan was a victim of domestic abuse at the hands of the royal family is utter nonsense. Why would you even use that phrase? The two of them are a disgrace. I would say they are finished over here now. Their bitterness, jealousy, and hatred towards William and Kate and the royal family knows no bounds. It must be eating them up. I truly believe they are sick and dangerous. Isn't it also odd that the so-called racist comments from Lady Susan were released the day the whales landed in the U.S.? thus something else threatening to overshadow their visit? This was always the plan. They are desperate to try and upstage anything William and Catherine do. Harry and Meghan are so convinced of their magnificence and victimhood that no one should get before them, despite their effort to portray themselves as selfless, misunderstood, unappreciated, and mistreated, all this just prove what narcissists they are. The world should take note that they are the only ones that matter in their worlds. Their benevolence is about feeding their egos and bank accounts, not helping others. Fortunately, the world can see this for what it is, childish and spiteful. It will make them even more popular while the traitors sink further into the gutter. We've been wondering what stunts the hypocrites would put on to try and upstage the visit. 
What the pair of traitors cannot control is the genuine love and affection the world holds for our prince and princess of Wales and our royal family. Everything they do is calculated around their bitterness and jealousy of the Wales. Everything. From setting up the woman at the event to the bought award through Sunshine Sacks to the release of this ridiculous reality show. They are consumed by their bitterness and will never move on from beating a dead horse about their sad, pitiful, overprivileged lives. The pair just cannot tolerate William and Kate or any royal having the headlines. They are so pathetic and predictable. They will accept the Ripple of Hope Award to try and legitimize their attack on racism. If the royal family was so bad, why do they want half in and half out still? They will not stop using their titles. Plus, they want titles for their children? King Charles III needs to show them some tough love and take away their titles and all associated privileges. Two middle-aged playing lovebirds and forever victims for money, trashing the institution that gave them everything. She was a bad actress with her role already written off. They still shamelessly used and monetized the titles and tried hard to destroy the British royal family, his own brother. Well, Harry, you showed how jealous, greedy, ungrateful, and bitter you are. One royal fan shook his head and commented, Do this pair not see the irony and hypocrisy of continuing to accept millions of pounds from the royal family whilst castigating them? It beggars belief. They will quite happily take the money and the prestige of holding royal titles. Surely that must mean they condone everything the royal family does and they endorse it. If not sure, they'd refuse the money and give up their titles. Just how many times do they need to tell our story or our truths? I mean, for someone who said they had to step away from the royal life so they could get some privacy, they don't have to sell that same privacy to the highest bidder. Apparently, it's not an issue anymore. How much more of this do we have to take? Lies and innuendo, which nobody challenges. What more will it take for King Charles to banish them and take away the titles? Harry has said on many occasions he just wants to be plain Harry. Then let him be that and get on with his life as a non-royal. This is just disgraceful, but to be expected from this duo. Hope it now buries Harry for good. He is finished. Yes, no one knows what goes on behind closed doors. How about what goes on behind closed doors? We hear rumors of huge fights. Harry deserves all he gets from his handler. One commenter said, Why is there so much insistence from Harry and Meghan that we tell our story? What still must be said that hasn't already been said in between all the victimization, whining, pity poor my antics? And somewhere in all that mess is a love story we should all know about. The only thing we see in you, Harry and Meghan, are two very toxic, bitter, resentful, vengeful, and insecure people who are grossly unstable. Everything you have sent out into the world by your own actions, behaviors, and what you have done to destroy your families is more than enough for people to know there is nothing about you that anyone wants to be associated with. You are a disgrace. Simple as that. What do you think about the plan to sabotage Kate and William's U.S. visit that Harry and Meghan created? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.